Hello. Hello. I think we might be live, actually. This is awesome. Uh, we'll give just a second here for some people to start loading in. Uh, thanks, everybody, for um, waiting on the show, and I'm glad that you're here. Uh, clearly today we have a really cool little statue. Uh, it's very weird to get something so little, like this box was so incredibly small, um, but really cool to uh, get a smaller box in from Sideshow today. Um, and today we're going to be unboxing the child, the Mandalorian, the baby Yoda. Can't wait. It'll be a lot of fun. I'm anxious to see this thing in person. Uh, you probably have seen some photos of this already. Um, but I'm anxious to see uh, how it turns out, how it turns out. So uh, we'll wait just for a second here. Um, so Ledger, have you, this is Ledger, by the way, if you've Hello. never seen Ledger, um, this is my oldest son. And uh, have you seen The Mandalorian? Yeah, I've seen a couple of episodes. A couple episodes. I have a feeling you're going to want to see all of them. I want to see the second, whatever it's called, series. Series season two. Yes, yeah, season two. Well, you got to see season one before you see season yeah. two. It's not how it works for me. It's not. No. All right. Um. Well, I think you're gonna really like the season, and I think it's it's as a Star Wars fan. Let me know in the comments if you guys love the Mandalorian as much as I do. I think it's fantastic. Um. It's well written. It's what I feel like the the new trilogy should have been, in my opinion. But uh, anyway, I'm curious as to. Uh, what you guys think out there for this piece. But anyway, uh, I want to give a shout out to a couple people that are already here. Uh, Unsil Unsilenced Chaos says, hey, how's it going? Thanks Hello. for being here. We also have Harley Quinn with us. Hello. Nice to meet you. Uh, we also have Edwin Diaz. Um, and he says, sup, Ledger. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, I'm not sure. I think my the, there's a bit of a delay in the chat. There always is. Yeah, they're, they're, we've been having some trouble. There, there's a whole bunch oh, of things. Crap. Yeah, um, it just kind of keeps popping in and out. So I'll try to say hello to everybody as you guys pop in. Uh, we also have Milton Sledge in the house, Mandalorian for life. That's awesome. Very cool. Uh, Benjamin Gonzalez says, "Ledger, have you seen Mandalorian?" A little bit, just a little bit. A little bit. His attention span is not that great. So an hour, well, an well, hour sometimes. I really... might have played video games and I spent two hours watching. It. So. Oh, well, that's true. That is true. Uh, we've got Sick Mansion Collectibles in the house. Uh, what's up, my bat brother? Hey, Sick Mansion. Nice to see you. Thanks for being here. Uh, we also have uh, Roman Helmet. What's up, Chris? I love that name. Uh, we also have Jedi Joker in the house. Hey, guys, just unboxed my child 30 minutes ago. Wow. Jedi Joker, congratulations. What do you think? Let me know. What do you think? We, we have to know this information. Uh, let's see. Is it Paluto? Paluto, I hope I said that name right. Uh, how was that football game? If I remember correctly, it was for third place. How'd yeah, you do? It was for third place, and we won it. You did. Goodness. You did win. That's right. He did win. That was great. Good way to finish the season. Play had some really big competition. Was. Benjamin says, "Hi guys, how are you doing? Good. I'm doing. I'm doing well. Yeah, I'm very good. Doing all right. Nice Wednesday night." Uh, Edwin Diaz says, "Sup, sick. Nice, nice Edwin. Thank you." Uh, I watched episode one of season two. It was awesome. Yeah, we just watched it um, two nights ago, Monday night. How dare you? And it was really good. Really good. Uh, Nikki says, I'm getting mine soon. That's awesome. It seems like Slideshow is kind of shipping them in batches. They shipped a whole bunch to celebrities and uh, other notable folks. Uh, they got theirs first. Uh, and then um, I think I was part of that first actual batch. Um, but I know it's still in pre-order, so... You can still get it, guys. Oh, my gosh. So Can't wait. Order. Got Sick Mansion. We said hello to him. Jacob Lopez says, I got mine today. Going to unbox it when I get home. That's awesome. Good. Congratulations. I guess I'll give you a little teaser then. <laughs> Tony uh, says, greetings from Boston. The Mandalorian is outstanding. Leaves the sequel trilogy in the dust. I, I tend to agree. I like the sequels, but... Um, I really love the Mandalorian. I love the style. It's basically literally a Western uh, in space. So I really think that's awesome. Uh, John is here. He's a Brotherhood of the Bat member. Thank you for supporting the channel, John. Uh, he says, hey, Chris, uh, and hey, Ledger, how you doing? I'm doing good. We're doing all right. How are you? Hopefully you're doing well. What? Don't got the Rona. Don't got the Rona. That's a good thing, right? I'm good so far. 
Uh, Cyber Bat World says, hey, brother, love it. Got mine in. That's awesome, Cyber Bat. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Again, love it. Uh, Nikki says he loves or he looks good. I can't wait to get mine. That's yeah. I think you're going to love it. Uh, Sick Mansion says I just got mine on Monday. That's awesome. Congratulations. Uh, definitely check out Sick Mansion Collectibles on his YouTube channel and give him a sub. Sick Mansion. Uh, Nick says it takes so long to get it though. Worth the money. Yeah, it's always worth the wait. Chris sounds sick. I always sound sick. I have perpetual bad allergies. So 24 seven. Yeah. You can ask the kid. I'm coughing Trust all the me, time. 24 seven. 24 seven year round. It's amazing that I get through a video filming wise. It's amazing. A lot of takes. Alfonso says, what's every, what's up? What's up everyone. <laughs> nice to see you. Thanks uh, Alfonso for being here. Hello to you, Statish Two. I think that's how you said it. I hope I said it right. No, no, I can't tell. Statish, maybe Statish Two, Statish Two. Anyway, what's up to you? Thanks for being here. Uh, we've got Swan Shadow says I would watch the Mandalorian in the front seat of a DeLorean, parked, of course. So well, that would be pretty awesome. That'd be really amazing. That'd be really great. I like that rhyme. That'd be awesome. Very very cool. I think we should just get into it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Maggie says, uh, show us the baby Yoda. It's on its way. It's coming. Just a second here. Just want to say hello to everybody that's here. Uh, we've got Sano is here. Hi from Brazil. Hi from Brazil. How are you hello. doing? I uh, had a lot of new viewership from Brazil. It's really cool. Um, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm an analytics guy. I like to see all the stuff with YouTube. And, uh, you know, America obviously is uh, the number one for my channel, uh, the UK. But, but Brazil is really coming through strong. So thank you, Brazil. A lot of great artists coming out of Brazil as well. Uh, Sick Mansion says you're going to love it. Great realism. That's awesome. I'm hoping it's not too pink. Uh, you know, some people's photos, it looks really super pink. Uh, Tom H says, good evening. Start the unboxing. It's up next. Here we go. Benji says, hey, guys. Thanks, Benji, for being here. Hello. Benjamin says, hi, Chris. I just got my Mr. Freeze in the case behind Ledger. And I like it better than the Arkham Scarecrow. Wow, that's very cool. We have Freeze is good. Great piece right there. Really awesome piece. I like them both. I like the Scarecrow as well. Really awesome. He's creepy. <clears throat> All right, so should we show what's let's in just, the box? Let's just do it. Let's get into it. All right, let me see. Let's see if I can get around here. So it's time. The art box is black and uh, gray. And you can see it's got the black logo or the black uh, background with the Star Wars logo here. It's a little dull. Uh, it's a little dull, but there's a surprise. There's a surprise. Whoa. So it just has a black sleeve. It's kind of uh, reminiscent of a Hot Toys. Um, now, this, of course, was made by Sideshow Collectibles in conjunction with Legacy Effects. Um, I don't know if uh, they get their props, but Legacy Effects is awesome. Uh, they do a lot of movie movie things and movie products, um, including, I think, a lot of like Iron Man pieces and things like that. But I will show you the box here, what you're going to get. So you do see the child there. And you got Mando and the yeah. child. And then the back, what's on the back here? Oh, that one of the illustrations. This is really cool. If you watch The Mandalorian, you know they always have those kind of those concept arts at the very end, uh, which I always think is really cool. And then, of course, we have the Mandalorian logo on the top. And this is open edition. So that means that they're going to make a billion of these guys. They're going to make a lot. Um, and so there is no number uh, edition size or anything like that. I would imagine they're going to make as many as they could possibly sell. Uh, this particular piece has a great price point, uh, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of people didn't really understand how they would be able to sell these for that price. Uh, but I think a lot of people, because of that, were, was able to pick this one up. So, anyway. Want me to read the comments? Huh? Want me to read the comments? Uh, you sure? I get the chair. <laughs> Although you're probably going to want to scoot back a little bit because... You want to block the table. Jerry Bourne says, Q go. Aerosmith, pink is my favorite color. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Pink. Um, so it also does have this. This is really cool. It says, greetings, guild members, and congratulations on acquiring the asset. Show us how the child fits in your life. Uh, it's got some hashtags. So it's uh, at Sideshow Collectibles and also at Collect Sideshow. Uh, and with the hashtag, 
hashtag Mandalorian and tag us. So show show them that card uh, up on the camera. So make make sure it's clear so they can see it. So that's pretty cool right there. They obviously want to promote this thing pretty pretty well. It's first batch. All right. Thank you very much. You can have that so that's really cool. Yeah, I really like that. There. And like I said at the beginning, it's kind of cool just to have something that's a little smaller. <laughs> raw statue reviews in the house. Statue reviews in the house. Raw statue. Oh, raw reviews. statue. George Raw's in the house. Hey, George. Thanks for being here. All right. Let's put the box over here. And we'll see what we got. So Ooh. <laughs> I went to find my pocket knife. And my son went to go find his pocket knife, and neither one of us could find one. So I'm going to go as old, you know, as retro here as you can get. I'm going to have a piece of knife here, a piece of scissors. Very sad. Very sad. All right, what are people saying? Benjamin says that he's doing homework and he's still watching the stream. That's awesome, Benjamin. Uh, I'm... On Silence Chaos says, got my first statue a few days ago, Scarecrow PF. Now planning to get Mr. Freeze in time. Man, what do you think of that Scarecrow? Do you love it? Is it that one over there? Yep. Yeah, that. You're going to like Mr. Freeze too, but let me know what you think about Scarecrow. I think you, I'm think i sure you love it. They're both really good. We both unboxed them together. Yes, we did. Online. The new live unboxing tradition. Yes. Oh. In the BSC household. Not used to the camera being over here. We're gonna move some things around, didn't we? Yeah. So a little helpful hint. I about made the mistake. It does say top and bottom <gasps> on the styrofoam. So. Midwest Musketeers says, "Hey, you're opening my statue." Ah, oh, Midwest Musketeers. That's our other YouTube channel uh, <laughs> with our Disney adventures. And Family so, channel. yeah, that is Mrs. BSC right there. Mm -hmm. And I'm really hoping that she helps film the review this evening because I really want to hear her thoughts on this piece. Hey, Mom, can you bring home dinner? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll talk about that after the show. How about that? All right, so let's see what we got. Oh. Okay. All right, so first and foremost, I'll kind of show you what the inside of the box looks like. You can see um, that it's got, it's basically very simple. It's just three pieces here, um, but very cool. All right, so we'll start out with the base. Benji says, what's your early thoughts of the Scarecrow Tweeterhead tease? Uh, I think it's really good. Uh, I want to see more. Um, I think it's going to be really great. Uh, Tweeterhead has done an amazing job lately, and so I'm pretty confident that it'll be very popular. So let me kind of come around here, and I'll show you guys the base. Jeff is in the chat as well. Jeff in the house. Jeff Morris. Hey, Jeff. So that's the base. Again, it's unnumbered because, um, again, it's... Limited edition, but it's open edition. And then you also have the base here, kind of a um, kind of a Death Star looking base. Very cool. Just kind of that classic I Star see. Wars look. Ooh. There. Oh, fresh, you got the the the, the, the new the fresh the, the, fresh statue smell. Ooh, that smells a little different. That's not. I don't know if that's polystone. We have this. We have this. I don't know. Hard to say. I'm not sure. Jeff Morris is in the chat. Jeff, if you you can join. You can join if you, you want. Join if you want. Uh, it does have a key, a peg, if you will. So that'll help guide the child into place. Let's see this statue. Oh, what is this? Uh, we also have the shifter knob. What is that? And I, I have to give Jim Mint a little bit of a problem because he couldn't, he didn't know what this was. But this is the shifter knob from the uh, show. Uh, this thing appears to be plastic. Uh, it does have a magnet. I'll show you the back here. It does have a magnet. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's got a magnet right there. And this this is plastic, I think. It's very, very light. Why don't you say it's plastic? Yeah, it's plastic. It's yeah. way too light. To yeah, be it's plastic, else. but it does have a magnet in it. Uh, probably kept the cost a little lower. That means they could produce more of them. Again, I think that... Uh, People were really questioning how they were able to produce this for the price. All right, so let's get the child out of here. He's actually kind of big. 
He is life size. Oh. So this is a life size child. Man, they have a ton of these little packets in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, this eight, right nine. Yeah, nine. Jeez. That is crazy. All right. Uh B Rose will uh never mind. What are you trying to say? Someone said no limit or limited edition. What is it? It says limited edition, but there is no um, ES. So it says that on the statue, but wow, he is awesome. Wow, okay. We need a Mandalorian statue now. So let me give you guys a close up here. Oh, he's pretty cute. I'll get out of the way. There he is. Ooh, it's pretty cute. He is adorable. I gotta tell you guys. I like his little hair on the, the top. The eyes. Man, they are really good. Look at the eyes. Yeah. They, those literally look like real eyes. These can these are like flexible fabric or not fabric. All right, so I think that he he is not polystone. I don't believe he is polystone. I believe he is a molded plastic, but very, very good quality. Like very, very good quality. I think that's how they were able to punch. Can I see him? In, um, Can I see him from the front? Yeah. Let's see him. He's cute. He's pretty cute. Look at his little toes. Really, really cute. But I do feel like Harley Quinn says, "I love Baby Yoda. I'm wearing my Baby Yoda shirt." That's right awesome. Right now, uh, the clothing seems to be really good quality. There's another, <laughs> another deal. Um, Jeff so, Morris says, "Probably going to be a, a timed edition." Maybe so. Um, I do have kind of a a divot. I've seen some people have kind of a divot on theirs. I don't know if that is intentional. I mean, um, it could be. He is a Yoda. He looks like he's it's hard. Too. It's hard to say if that's. Well, I think it is intentional. Looking yeah. at it from the back, you can see that he's got all the hair. Uh, I was wondering how this would be polystone and have the hair punched in, but but being that this is plastic, uh, like a molded plastic, um, that makes more sense to me. Uh, the pink looks pretty darn good in person. Nikki uh, says, not, "What does his skin feel like?" Uh, his skin his skin feels like well, it, it is plastic, but it's textured. Um, let me see if I can show you the feet. <laughs> Let's see. So, like, here you can see that the, he's got plastic up above. And you can see plastic below. You see how it's molded at the bottom? It's more it's painted and textured. Jeff um, says the color looks good on camera. The, yeah, the thing. camera looks... It does look a lot better in person. It doesn't have that super, super pink... I mean, it's pink, but... It looks like a beetroot. Like a beaver? Beetroot. Uh, a what? A beetroot. What's that? It's, oh, it's beet? like it's a... Beets? Like a, like yeah. A, okay. That's what I'm talking about, beetroot. He is really cute. Let me set him down oh. here on the base. Arkham Gaming just hopped on. Arkham Gaming in the house. So Arkham Gaming. Okay. So he will stand on the base, but he will <laughs> also stand on his own. I agree, Jeff. I agree. The feet look cute. <laughs> Man, he is really adorable. Let me. Uh... John Preble in the house, uh, a member. Yeah, that's who we yeah. talked to earlier. Again, thanks for being here, John. Secret yeah. sanctuaries in the house. Uh, what are the holes for on the back of the legs? I think that's just where they screwed it in. I think that's. Let me double check. Hey Jeff, you can also hop on. Uh, this hand. Yes, that hand. Yeah, Jeff, I think that's where they just screwed it in. Is it's, It is plastic. Um, it's a, uh, The body itself is a lighter weight plastic, but the hands, the feet, and the head is all a heavier duty plastic. Um, very beautifully painted. So this is obviously, you know, a lot of give with the ears. Coco Mump says, if the cheeks are too red, you can rub it in with your thumbs and remove some of the paint, but I think that looks okay. Yeah, I think it's really pretty darn good. Here, I need you to move your head back. I've moved. Let me 
put the shifter knob in his hands. So that that just pops in his hand like that if you want to have that in his hand. What is a shifter knob? It's a... Uh, Tell me this well, information. It's, like a, it's, it's like a car turn, really. So let me uh, take you guys a little closer here. He's pretty cute. So you guys can see him up close. Hopefully he's coming in pretty clear. The uh, costume itself looks really good. And, and keep in mind, we are going to be reviewing this um, in HD. But you can see the feet. Them feet. The feet looks really good. I mean, they're, it's very well painted. Very well painted. Secret Sanctuary says he likes to have his ears rubbed. <laughs> There you go, yeah. But you can see, I'll show you the, like you, you know, you, you, it really has a bend, so it is, it is plastic. Jeff Moore says it's really cute, and John says looks so real. It, the the best thing about it is the eyes, like the eyes. The eyes is what sells you. It, it is, I don't know. I, I feel like it is maybe glass eyes, but it's just incredibly well done. I guess we gotta find out. It's really good. We kind of spin them around so you can see the side. And his little hands with his little fingies. Yeah. Did you say fingies? Fingies. Ooh, that's rough. And so that's chaos says looks better than most fit photos. Yeah, the photos do not do this guy any justice. Um, again, for the price point, I know some people might, you know, some people might kind of scoff at the fact that it's plastic, but <laughs> I think that they, they painted it so well. Um, I, I think it's worth it. I think the cloth makes it worth it and the eyes make it worth it, in my opinion. Um, of course, you know, once I spend some time with it, and again, we're going to review it uh, for you guys as well in a separate video. But I, I, just my initial impression is I think it's really well done. Secret Sanctuary says, I'll be reviewing this too. Should get mine in two to three years. Uh, <laughs> that sounds about right. And Arkham Games. Hey, Jeff, so Jeff, it's not coming for Prime 1, so you should be all right. Plus, you live right next to Sideshow. Did you not get your shipping notification yet? I'm curious. Uh, Arkham Gaming says, do you like the base? It looks very simple. Yeah, the base is really nice. It's very Star Wars-like. You know, it's simplistic, um, but, it, you know, it definitely has that Star Wars feel. Star Wars um, isn't always simplistic. I, I really like it. Uh, I think it's really well done. I, I'm really impressed with the cloth. You know, it feels like a like a wool co uh, coat. I mean, it really feels good quality. Jeff says this looks better than the photos of the life size version that Hot Toys is making. Yeah, the Hot Toys version, I, I just don't love. I, I don't know if it still has that same seam on it. It had that bad seam. Uh, I, I think if you're going to get one, I, I would get this one. Uh, just the, the hair punt, the hair, you know, the hair up top looks really good. Puliodo, I don't know how to say that. I think your review might make me order this. Yeah, it'll be, I think it, I think it's definitely worth a buy. He's cute. Um, and it doesn't, again, it just looks quality to me. It, uh, Jeff says no sh uh, shipping notification for me. Oh, that's crazy, Jeff. I'm sorry. Man, that sucks. That's really sad. I don't understand how they ship this one. Like, uh, it's clearly in batches, but I'm not sure. Sean Breeze Collectibles says it's kind of creepy. Well, it is a baby Yoda with the big giant eyes. He's big eyes. He looks like a spider. Uh, you know, he does stand up. You can uh, rotate his head. Oh, well, that's cool. So, again, it is, you know, a PVC plastic material, so you are able to, you know, rotate it however you wish. Don't twist it too far. But you know, if you kind of want, if you want him to look kind of off in the distance, like that, you can. ATV racer says his arrives tomorrow. Oh, that's cool, ATV. That's great. Um, kind of zoom back here a little bit. But again, it's just that face. I, I mean, that face you fall in love with. It's uh, just it's so really realistic. well done. Really well done. He looks like he could be shot in a movie right now. It's really good. Right, uh, Kimberly Coyle says, "So adorable! How much is it?" I think it was was it three fifty? You said around yeah, about that. I think around three fifty. You can look it up for sure. Where'd the mouse go? Yeah, let's move him right there. That's a good shot. That's perfect. Yeah, maybe a little bit more. There we go. 
Can I kiss Baby Yoda? You can kiss Baby Yoda. All right, let's see what people are saying. Uh, Sean says, it's kind of creepy. Again, congratulations, ATV. Uh, don't get him wet or feed him after midnight. Yeah, that's that's for sure. Raymond said he hasn't got his shipping notification either. And I ordered the day it was released. Yeah, I did too. Um, Sideshow has been kind of different lately where they are shipping things in batches. Um, whereas I feel like before everything used to ship at the same time, but now it's like a certain number goes out and then a couple months later than the next batch goes out. So I really don't know how they determine who goes to where. Um, but, um, oh, Jeff just said it went up. 350 to 375. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, they, if there's a lot of demand, they could change the price. So if you bought early, you probably are going to do okay. Three, 350 plus shipping. So uh, it's interesting that it's gone up. Uh, crazy. Um, John says, eyes are really big and cute and look so real. Are they plastic or glass? I feel like they could be glass. You think the eyes are plastic? Yeah. All right. Plastic. The man right there says he thinks the eyes are plastic, but they do look really good. They, they feel plastic. Uh, Hugo says, congrats, BSC. You have inquired the asset, and he's looking deep into my soul. Yeah, he's he's just very, very cute. I'm going to take him off the stand. I'm going to give you a hug. So there he is right there. Show you his eyes again. Let me see. Hopefully, they're somewhat clear. I know it tries to pick up the background sometimes, but yeah, the pinks are are, are good. They're subtle. They're not near as bad as I um, thought they would be. I'll give them a hug. Um, and again, at the three fifty price point, I do think it's a pretty good deal. Um, I do feel like there's a lot of quality here. Uh, again, I could see where some people might um, not like the fact that it's basically all plastic. Uh, it's all a PVC material. But again, with that said, I, I have to say, guys, it's very, very well done. Someone just said, I think he's looking up too much. I wish you could tilt it up and down. Yeah, I, um, I, I think the thing is that he's always on the ground. So he's always looking up at the person he's with or whatever action. So you have to keep that in mind, too. If you have it lower, it's going to be fine. If you have it up on a shelf, it might not be great. But I think that was their kind of their motivation was to, yes, to have him looking up. Lower. Yeah, to, you have to place him a little bit lower. He wants somebody wants you to burp the child. So we need a burp, a live burping, but you're off camera. Nope, you're still off camera. I'm giving him a hug. Are you but do you want people to see you giving him a hug? <laughs> there you go. Now give him a burp. How do I do that? Put him over your shoulder and then pat his back. Yeah, you do that. Oh, you want me I'm to? I'm not there yet. All right. I've, I have a lot of practice with this, but it's been a while. It's been a while. Let's see. <laughs> wow. I can't believe I held my breath that long. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Uh, they're yeah. asking people to send pictures of him in different situations. Could be fun. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't know if there's been a uh, baby Yoda in the Bat Cave yet. So there you go. Jeff said just checked. It was three seventy five. Now I think it was incentive pricing the first couple weeks. Yeah, I, I think so too, Jeff. Uh, it's an unnumbered cash cow. Yeah, I would say that's probably true. Uh, all you need is a life-size Mando. That'd be pretty crazy. Maybe not a life-size. Well, this is going in our Disney room. We have a Disney collectibles room. Uh, maybe I'll show that to you guys sometime if you want. Uh, it might just be for um, the Brotherhood of the Bat members. We'll see. Uh, but uh, if anybody has any interest in that, let me know. Hey, Dad, do you see a frog around here at all? Frog? Yeah. yeah this, this one's a little froggy. Well, no, no, like an actual frog. Remember, he ate the frog. Oh, he did. Do you see any frogs? No, I don't see any frogs. John says, "Oh, you guys are so adorable." No, this ba this this kid right here is adorable. What? Oh, That's this guy. Boy. This guy. Jeff said, "Did you belch up a frog?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now that would be a lot better than a life size Mando, I think. Ah, uh, that depends. That depends. That depends. That depends on who makes it. 
Uh, a very adorable cash cow. Yeah, for sure. What is a cash cow? Uh, yeah, of Gaming, he's not going in the Batcave. Uh, he's going in our Disney room. It's the first statue you bought that's not going in there. Uh, I have to give some shout outs to my wife because I showed this to her on day one and she said, if you don't buy this, I will. So there you go. Her first statue purchase. Yeah. yeah. Basically her first statue purchase. She didn't want to be here for the live unboxing, uh, but she's at work. Uh, but uh, hopefully I can convince her to be part of the review. So again, we'll review this guy and give you a lot better uh, close ups and a lot better footage than... I mean, she uh, wasn't in the chat. 720 here. Yep, yeah, she was in the chat. Obviously, she went back to work. Let me make sure you guys can see the child up close. At Collectible says, kiss that thing, Chris. <sighs> oh, he's so cute. He is really adorable. And again, really well done. Hey, Pat. Again, I, I do feel like, I, I don't know. I'm kind of conflicted about the plastic stuff. Um, I wish you yeah. but. Again, I think at this price point, I can see why it is the way it is. And I feel like it looks, it might not be polystone, but it looks like polystone. And I feel like that's really all that matters because a lot of times PVC looks like PVC. Um, but this, this to me looks like it could be, it could be polystone for sure. Um, but I'm guessing if it was polystone, the price would have been more, quite a bit more, maybe like five, $600. I'm going to hold them again. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's see. We've oh, Mac Collections is in the house. Kiss that thing, Chris. We did. Uh, hey, Mac. Uh, and if you guys have not seen Mac Collections, after this video, please check out Mac Collections because he did a uh, Batman versus Bane statue. I'm waiting for mine on the long, long boat from Japan or China, wherever it's coming from. Uh, but Jeff, definitely check out his um, review. Uh, also, after this, sometime tonight, if you want to go over to MCE, Marvelous Statues, they're going to be doing a live unboxing of that same statue. Uh, Junior Statue Collector uh, is going to be uh, unboxing that statue. So if you uh, want more Bane, today is the day for sure. And eventually on my channel as well. He's, he's in Let's see. ATV Racer says, dang, I like that cyber interactive boss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, is plastic bad for a life-size statue? I, I think if it looked plasticky, yes. Um, but he is, small. he is small. Um, and I really think that he looks real. I mean, he really does look real. Uh, the, the again, the paint applications on him is very well done. It might be a hard molded plastic, but at the same time, it does feel to me like it could be polystone. I mean, it, the look of it, the feel of it, maybe not so much. Um, but I don't think they, they couldn't. I should have known it was plastic all along because I was trying to think how, how could they possibly hand punch into polystone? And I feel like it's impossible. And I'm sure it is impossible unless they just glued it flat on there. So the fact the fact that he has the hair, did you put it back on the? I did. He's back on the screen. All right. See if you can pop him back off. I want to show everybody the hair again real close up. Four hours later. There it's go. fine. I got just, it. <laughs> let me show you. See, the hair on the top is all punched into the plastic. So it's it's very, very well done. The hair is not going to come out, um, but it definitely adds a, a whole nother le level of realism there, in my opinion. So it's just very, very good. Again, the paint looks great. The coloring's really great. Now, let me show you the, the, mar or the, uh, the shifter knob again. So it's, again, just plastic. And it literally just pops right into his hand. So you can leave it leave it in there. I think I'm going to leave it uh, in there. Um, the, the coat itself is like double layered. Yeah, you can unzip it. Uh, I think I'm going to wait till uh, the review to unzip it. For all you nasty uh, child, you know, whatever. <laughs> no, seriously. It's, uh, it's really a great statue. I was wondering. Um, Maybe you could put a different coat on. I'm just, I'm very impressed. Yeah, you could put something else on him yeah, if you, you wanted to. Yeah, you could put like a baby coat on him or something. But That'd be pretty cool. That's awesome. Well, it looks like I've got to do some uh, creative photos here and send it in the Sideshow. Uh, but I, I tip my hat to Sideshow. This is a really cool statue. Um, and congratulations to everybody that's getting it. I think you're going to love it. Um, if you're a fan of this show like I am, this is a no-brainer piece. Uh, and I, again, I like that you can turn his head. 
There's still there's one thing I don't like about it. All right. You cannot tilt it up and down. Yeah, it would be neat if you could tilt it up and down. Um, back in the chat. But it is. Yeah, he is so cute. He is really well done. And I'm really glad we picked this up. And congratulations to my wife <laughs> that has her first statue that we just unboxed. And You're again, welcome. hopefully we can convince her to uh, to do the review. Do you want to oh, put no, it back on the, no, on the stand? No, uh, let's see. Uh, Max says, yeah, absolutely. Back to you, Mac. Absolutely. Uh, Jeff says, I'm not sure they could have got it as detailed. If it was polystone, I'd rather look authentic than just... I, I agree, Jeff. Um, <clears throat> again, some collectors are going to be put off by the fact that it's not polystone. But... You know, people have been debating what's better, this or the hot toys. It's going to be very similar materials. So really it comes down to which sculpt do you guys like best? Um, and I don't know, I, what is the price point on the hot toys? Is it more? I'm assuming it's a lot more. Um, but if, if, if you're going to choose, I think I would choose uh, this one for sure. Uh, the only bad thing might be that it doesn't tilt its head forward. Um, but I think that the, the hot toy still has that awful seam um, that you're not going to want. So... Anyway, shout out to Midwest Musketeers once again. Uh, yeah, Ledger, uh, Hugo says Ledger has a new baby brother. No, thank you. Uh, put him in the baby seat and drive him around. Do we even have a baby seat anymore? No. Oh, we might. We might have a booster seat. We could probably do that. Take him to Sonic for ice cream. Hey, that's my man right there. Oh, you're so smart, Jeff. I, like your uh, I, go, to, I go to Sonic every single day and get my iced tea. So unsweet him. for all you crazy sweet drinkers out there. <clears throat> Jeff says, I think the Hot Toys is more... Yeah, I would assume it's more expensive as well. well uh, Arkham Gaming says, uh, awesome life-size statue. I was, gonna get, I was going to be him, but only have enough money for DC Batman. Yeah, I mean, you have to make priorities. But again, for the price point, I think this is, uh, again, really impressive. Um, they probably could have charged a lot more. Uh, the body could have been polystone, but again, it would have been under there. Um, so you really wouldn't see it. So I think... I think Sideshow did a good job with this. I think that they made a, a good decision, charged it at a fair price point. And again, we'll talk more about it when we do the review. Um, but what do you think? What are your 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 initial and final thoughts on this piece? I like him. He's cute. Like I said, the only thing I don't like is they cannot tilt his head up or down. That, that's a problem because if you're still on a high shelf, you don't want to look it up unless you have clouds up there, which is... Yeah, it depends on where you display him. Yeah. <coughs> uh, he would easily fit in a detolf. Um, What's a detolf? That's that glass display case. That oh, yeah, 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 okay. Um, <coughs> so I think that you would be fine in a, you know, it's not going to take up a tremendous amount of space. He's not too big. Uh, but, he, but he does have a really great impact um, in a collection. It's really, really cool. Um, Reclaimer says, do you have other Star Wars statues that he'll go with? Um, no, we don't. Um, we just have a Disney collection. We mostly collect like Disney parks, you know, things like the ride attractions, uh, attraction posters, uh, like Pirates of the Caribbean and Haunted Mansion, things like that. So this is kind of going to be representing the Mandalorian and Star Wars in the collection. Um, so anyway. Be awesome. All right, oh. hopefully we're back. Hopefully we're, we're back. back. Maybe we'll see. Uh, Jeff's uh, Hot Toys life size is 410. Dang. So, yeah, a little bit more. Not a lot. Not a lot more, but a little bit more. It's 35 bucks. And John says, can't wait for the review. So, yeah, we'll uh, either film the review tonight or tomorrow. Hopefully have it up by the weekend. Uh, if not tomorrow, we'll probably try to have it up by tomorrow. Um, Sean says we should put him in a BSC t-shirt. That'd be pretty funny. Yeah, we could do that. We could. <clears throat> we do sell baby ones, so that'd be pretty cool. Well, we could. That would uh, he just uh, he just want to look up to you. Just move his head from side to side. That's right. That's right. Uh, Pimbricas are in the house. Hey guys, um, congratulations, Chris. Thank you very much, uh, and congratulations to the BSC family because it's uh, really our family's collectible, which is kind of refreshing. Eric says, uh, "Hey, Eric, I uh, just need a life size Mando." Yeah, a couple people have suggested that. Um, I think we should get him a crib. I like think a, a a baby Yoda crib. Yeah, and then we could have like a glass stand, pull them up, and like okay, 
Sideshow, hear me out. <laughs> All right, from the out of the mouth of babe, sideshow. Here we go. I'm All sure. Right. I'm sure they're listening. So what you could do is you can make another baby Yoda just like this, but have him in like his carrier. Oh, that would be neat. And I think it would do really well. So actually, sell the carrier. And and you could make like, and you could make baby Yoda and the carrier. Interesting. It's basically like get or okay, yeah. All right, so two things. Number one, if you're watching this and you think that's a good idea, give this video a like. Um, also, let me know in the comments here if you think that is a good idea. Do you, would you guys, if you bought this, would you want the the dome carrier that he floats around in? That'd be neat. And that way he could look up really well. Uh, Raymond says Hot Toys does have two sets of ears and three sets of arms. Hair's a little man manky looking. Um, so, yeah, there might be some swap outs, so you have to consider that. Um, and do you like the swap outs um, or, you know, would you mostly display it with, like, this type of head? Uh, Unsilenced Chaos says, does look awesome, but for 300 pounds, I would rather, plus pounds, I would rather get Hot Toys figure or a few hundred pounds more. Okay. Well, um, the Hot it, Toys is... <clears throat> it, uh, more. It, it's a little bit more, uh, but it really just depends on taste. Um, you know, are you a hot toys collector in general? Um, you know, I used to collect hot toys, but I went to statues. And now I'm kind of back to a hot toy is a big hot toys here. But uh, I think Sideshow did a really good job uh, with this piece. I'm really impressed in hand. Um, I'm really impressed with the coloring. Um, if you guys are on the fence about this, don't hesitate, guys. Uh, the pink is not too pink. Uh, the greens look really good. I feel like what you're seeing on camera is slightly slightly muted than in real life um but i feel like he just looks he looks incredibly realistic uh, i feel like he could just jump off the table and uh cause some hijinks at any moment so what's he gonna do float you huh what's he gonna do make you float i don't know i don't know impulsive impulse collecting says congrats on baby yoda thank you very much i really appreciate it i think there might still be a delay here a little bit um in the chat uh, again, if you enjoyed today's video and enjoy uh, Baby Yoda here, please uh, hit that like button. Smash that, the like button or this guy will float you. That really does help the channel's analytics, uh, helps people find this channel. Um, and if you're new here and watching for the first time, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you uh, part of the fun. And again, please hit that like button. It really does help a lot. So thank you guys very, very much for that. Uh, let's see if we have any other comments before we head out. Um, John says, good night, guys. It was great talking to you again. Great statue. You both are awesome. Keep on rocking and see you next time. Thanks again, John. Thanks again for being a member. Uh, that's so awesome. Good night, John. Mac Collections. Again, check out Mac's, uh, Mac's video on Batman versus Bane over on his channel. Show him some love. And please, in the comments, tell him that the Batman statue collector sent you. Um, oh, Jeff says, my blue Batman is shipped. It's supposed to be delivered next Monday. That's awesome. And Jeff, I think you're going to review it for the channel, right? That'd be awesome. I, I'm so happy that you got it. I'm glad that you stayed and stuck to your guns and got it because I, I know there was some hate on the statue. Um, Which one? Do you have it? It's that one right there, but they did the blue version. Oh, And yeah. Jeff really liked that one, so I'm really excited for him. So well, that's, I, like that, I think I like that one. Too. Uh, he is definitely mesmerized by the Batcave. Like, he's like, oh, my God. Like, what have I stumbled into? This place is awesome. It's creepy. <laughs> Here, just take a, one look at that Joker right there. Speaking of being uh, amazed, so um, I was at work today, and um, we have a, a doorbell camera, and I saw that um, we had a uh, the, the bug sprayer come and uh, do our house, and I usually lock the bat cave, but I didn't know he was coming, and so I can only imagine when he turned the light on to this room what his what his thought was, because I'm sure he about lost his shorts. <laughs> Uh, Arkham Gaming says, since you got this, are you going to get the Mandalorian premium format? No. <clears throat> um, it's neat, but uh, I am I am focused on Batman. I can't go into Star Wars again. Um, and there would probably be other pieces I'd rather have than that piece. It's still very good. Um, but I feel like this is the one. This is all we really need uh, in, our, in our collection. Whoa. Yeah, PS Scarecrow, awesome. Absolutely, it's awesome. It really is. He's been typing that in the entire time. Oh, Jeff Moore says live unboxing. There you go. Oh, Maybe yeah. next Monday. So, Jeff, hit me up. We'll try to make that happen. Well, that'd be really cool. 
Uh, Harley Quinn says, uh, see you soon. Congratulations on the baby. Yoda. Thank you very much, Harley. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> uh, Killer Croc looks like he's getting ready to eat baby Yoda. Yeah. Oh, he's shoot. got his eye on him. I'm pretty sure that, oh, see now, yeah, yeah. Now Killer Croc's going to run and hide. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh, anything you want to say before we head out? He's cute. That's all you, it's just he's cute. That's just how Ledger will some. Hesitate. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. Get, just... I think you're going to love it. Um, I will put the order link down in the show notes if you're interested in ordering. Uh, I'll do that on the uh, review as well. And again, we'll probably try to film the review tonight or possibly tomorrow. So stay tuned to the channel for that. And also, guys, remember to hit that like button. Remember to hit that like button. Should we put the banner up? Boom, smash it. Hit, it, hit that like button and I'll turn blue. Yep, smash that like button. Absolutely. It really does help. Those and turn blue and baby Yoda. Love you. Yeah, baby Loda. Yeah, do it for baby, baby Yoda. Be, do it for baby Loda. No, <laughs> baby do it for the child. The child needs your likes. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys very much again. Uh, really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you soon right here in the Bat Cave. Bye, everybody. Wow. Wow. Baby Yoda. See you guys. Bye bye.